Hi, this is Kristen from Lion Lenners East Midlands again. I've got two of our lovely snakes to show you now. This is Rio, and Rio is a corn snake, which is probably the most common pet snake in the UK. And that's because they're a really nice size for a pet snake. Rio is fully grown now, she's five and a half years old, and she won't get any bigger. And also they're very gentle and good-natured snakes that really genuinely enjoy being handled. Rio is very lively and very, very nosy. She's just having a look at the camera. Um, and she's actually getting a little bit bored, I think, of lockdown. She really enjoys going out and about and meeting new people. So she's keen to get back out there as soon as she can. And she's very beautiful. As you can see, she's showing you her stunning patterns. Her colour pattern is called Ockety. She's an ockety corn snake. Corn snakes come in all sorts of different colours and patterns as pets. In the wild, they are usually an orangey colour with similar patterns to Rio, but more orange than red. And that's because that's the best colour and pattern for hiding in the cornfields where they live so that they can catch their prey, which is little mice but also avoid anything else that might want to eat them, avoid their predators too. But as pets, they can be all sorts of different colours and patterns. Right, so I have a different type of snake to show you now. This is the beautiful Olive. Olive is a different type of snake from Rio, um, but she is an American snake. She's a snake called a checkered garter snake, which is very much like the American version of our grass snake. And this is their wild colour and pattern. So you can see she's very different from a corn snake, she isn't orange. And that's because she lives in the grass and in the mud and in the bushes. And this is the best colour and pattern for her to be in order that she doesn't get spotted by predators. And she would have a lot of predators because she's quite a small snake, she's much smaller than Rio. And also that her prey doesn't see her when she's hunting for them. She actually would hunt in and around water very much like a grass snake. So she would hunt for small fish, um, tadpoles, earthworms, all sorts of things like that. She doesn't eat mice and other rodents like a corn snake, which means she's a little bit easier to feed as a pet. She likes to eat salmon and trout. As you can see, she's stunning. Look at the colour and pattern of her. She has this almost chessboard type pattern and that's where their name, a checkered garter snake, comes from. So Olive and I have a challenge for you. Um, it's a two-part challenge, so you can do whichever bits of it you feel like you would like to. So the first bit of the challenge is that you can colour in your very own snake. I will put a snake worksheet on the festival website and so you can colour it in with any colour and pattern you like. It could just be a colour and pattern you particularly like or it could be one that you found a real snake could have. So perhaps you could try and colour one that looks like Olive or Rio. The second bit is to maybe do some research into different colours and patterns of snakes and find out what colour and pattern different types of snakes are and maybe a little bit about why that is, um, why being that colour and pattern is great for the habitat that they live in. So perhaps for older children that's a really interesting challenge, so you can do some internet research. And I will try and find some good websites that you can have a look at to find out about snake colour and patterns too. Or you could do some research into different colours of pet corn snake because they come in all sorts of different colours and patterns that you wouldn't see in the wild that people have bred them to be. Okay, have fun doing your challenge and we'll see you later.